Hello everyone and welcome to Werven's World. Today I would like to talk about gas skimming in the advanced way. So last time uh, you might remember that we had a gas giant which has a bit of a gas atmosphere around it and um, this atmosphere kind of acted as a barrier and when you go through that barrier you skim some gas. And you also skim some gas when you fly through that barrier again. So basically you could get two times of skimming per flight or per trip that you did. However, we can actually use orbital mechanics in um, in the gas giants that are not in the inner nine planets. So if you go to any other planet, you can use orbital mechanics because the gas giants have uh, quite some gravity. And um, a user called Infinite made me aware of this technique. So at first I thought that basically a gas giant has just a very small kind of barrier and that you just need to penetrate and then you get gas. However, this barrier is actually seems to be thicker. So wherever you are in this barrier, you will get gas when you skim it. So if you use the gravity to your advantage, you can actually orbit this planet. So if you don't really know uh, about orbital mechanics, it works like this. So let's say you put a cannon on a, um, on a planet, and this planet has a certain amount of gravity. Then when you shoot a bullet or a cannonball from this cannon, it will be pulled down by gravity. So if you don't, don't shoot fast enough, then the ball will just fall back on the planet. If you shoot a bit harder, then it will half orbit around the planet, but at some point the gravity gets too strong and it lands upon the planet again. If you shoot too fast, uh, gravity can't get a hold of it and you just shoot it out of orbit. But then if you shoot it at exactly the right speed, it will basically keep falling around the planet, which means it, it has established an orbit. So it just keeps falling around the planet uh, basically forever. Um, and this is something we can use. So basically we can fly in this red barrier at exactly the right speed and then just keep orbiting this planet and skim a lot of gas. So a really good gas giant to practice this with is actually in a system that this user called Infinite discovered because this is a gas giant with not so much gravity. Because if you have a lot of gravity, the planets will pull you very, very hard towards it. So it really makes it hard to, to keep in a proper orbit because you need to keep accelerating uh, away from the planet uh, instead of accelerating to just get speed and get a lot of um, uh, hydrogen that way because that's correlated to how fast you go. So um, this uh, system is actually called Shadow. So if you type it in uh, to the star system search in your map you can go to the Shadow system um, and uh, that's where we'll go now. So we now arrived in the sh um, shadow system and there is a nice gas giant which is gas giant 4 there. So if you click autopilot gas giant 4 uh, you go there. I'm now at view range of it and you can see um, at least the gravity at the moment is only half a g but when you get closer it's about 2-ish um, and it has a nice wide band for um, hydrogen skimming. So to do this we want to go closer first. there and now we're closer and now you basically want to fly into the planet until we hit that barrier uh, and then we look at the G's um, basically to get a measure of basically height like uh, as long as we're around that number of G's then we're at around the same distance from the planet which is the planet that we can uh, or the the distance that we can harvest nit hydrogen from. So now it's just flying into it and keeping track of this number. There. 2.39 something is fine. So, and this 2.040 is also still fine. So kind of as you can see the barrier is quite big. So what I'm gonna do now is just fly at this height, at this gravity level, just to sideways. So I need to go a little bit up because the gravity will keep pulling me down. Insufficient velocity. Um, as you can see here my gravity is getting higher which means I'm being pulled down. So I'm gonna aim a little bit up. I'm not very good at this yet but so now you see my gravity is going down so I'm actually rising so I'm gonna 
level myself off a bit more. And as you can see, in the meantime, I keep skimming all the time. So instead of skimming only once or twice by flying through a planet, I'm now skimming all the time. And I keep going faster, which means my yield will go up. And of course, if you have a higher level ram scoop, um, you can gain much more uh, a gas. See, this was about at three nine, right? So once it once we go over that, we might need to go down a little bit. But maybe the gravity takes care of that because I'm increasing my distance to the planet slower and slower because the gravity is slowing me down. But as you can see at the moment we're already going 16k meters a second and well my hydrogen is growing up steadily. I think you're getting And now my skill has increased. So every time you skim you have a chance of having a gas skimming skill increase. So this is a really good way of doing it. So what you're basically doing now is orbiting the planet. So, yeah, that's uh, basically, uh, you can do this for hours or minutes or however long you want <laughs> um, until your uh, thing is full. Uh, if you really want to do this, um, it's advisable to buy a better RAM scoop so you basically get much more yield. Because as far as I know, I have a level 1 RAM scoop, so I just get the base. Oh, here I actually went over the gravity now, so now I don't get anything anymore. So I need to aim down a little bit. Um, yeah, so while I do this, uh, what I wanted to say, if you have a level 1 ram scoop, you just get the base yield, what I get now. But if you get a level 5 ram scoop, for example, you get 5 times as much. If you get a level 10 ram scoop, you get 10 times as much as a level 1, and so on. So you can uh, greatly increase your yield by buying a better ram scoop. So, that was uh, all I wanted to say. Um, I hope you found it useful, and see you next time.